All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You guys are all probably like, this bitch. She has not been on here for, oh, it's probably been like a year now. And here she is with a book video. <laughs> I realized that I have not been on this uh, channel in quite some time. I have been away from YouTube for longer than I should have been, but I am back and I am switching this channel up for the third time. Yes, it started off with like fitness, makeup kind of stuff, and then it transitioned into um, uh, just strictly fitness and then makeup, and now we're at books. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I like to do all sorts of things. So here we are. And today I want to talk to you about all the books I plan to be reading in February. I am, I've always loved reading. And so I'm really excited to just super dive in this year and uh, read as much as I can. I set a goal for myself this year to read 50 books. And um, how I track that is with an app called Goodreads. This is not sponsored, obviously, but that's the app that I use. I will link it in the description box. My goal is 50 books this year. So far, I am on my seventh book. But without further ado, let's get started. Obviously, with the pandemic, we uh, have a lot of time in our house. So I have fallen in love with reading again this year and I am ecstatic about it. Um, so the first book, I'm almost done with this one. I am, I think 65% done with it and Goodreads keeps track of my percentages. So, um, is The Wife Upstairs. So this book is so freaking good so far. A uh, couple of the reviews I've seen, people have said that it's like a remake of another book or show or something that's out already. I don't know anything about uh, what that is, so this is all new to me. Um, this is about a, about, about? This is about a uh, girl who was a dog walker, not a lot of money. Um, she walks dogs in this rich town, rich little gated community from my understanding. And um, she is like, really wanting to be part of the community. Well, one day she's standing in the, in the street in the rain. This uh, guy is backing out of his driveway and he almost hits her and this dog. They uh, become acquainted and they end up hanging out, getting to know each other and she starts dating him. She quickly finds out that this guy's wife had just passed away. Her and her best friend died at the lake. That's not a spoiler. Um, but died at the lake. Uh, they can't find his wife's body. Um, but they uh, know that they're gone. So um, there's tons of twists in this book. Tons of crazy uh, events that go on. And it is like a little bit of a thriller. Because I did get freaked out a couple times when I was like reading late at night um, by myself in my house. Um, I got a little bit freaked out, but it's really good and it keeps me coming back for more. I started it two days ago, so I am almost done with it. Um, I'm really excited to finish this one. It's probably going to be uh, one of my top books so far. The second book that I want to read, I this is by my favorite author. Um, I am a huge Chuck Palahniuk fan. I have read multiple books from him. I went to Pal's Bookstore a couple weeks ago and I saw this one and I hadn't seen this one before so I'm really excited to read it. And I am just a huge fan of Chuck's work. All of his books leave me just mind blown. Like all of them I'm just like, oh, what the fuck did I just read because that was nuts. My favorite book from him is Invisible Monsters and I had that book a while back and um, when I moved out of my house into an RV, I obviously did not have room for all of my books. So unfortunately I had to downsize and I got rid of pretty much all my books. But um, I ordered that one again. So that's another book that I wanna read, but probably not this month. It's probably gonna be read next month. Um, but I'm really excited to dive into this and see where it ranks in my uh, Chuck Palahniuk um, rankings. 
And uh, let me know if you guys want a video just on Chuck Palahniuk books. I have read so many of them and I freaking adore them. I adore him and I can't wait to read this one. Um, the next book I want to read, I don't know anything about this other than everybody is talking about it. Everyone is telling me I need to read it and it is The Song of Achilles. I have seen this everywhere and I love the freaking cover. Same with this one. Literally the last three books that I've shown, the covers are absolutely beautiful. Um, but this one is gorgeous. The gold is so shiny, so it really captures my eye and I love this light blue. The author is Madeline Miller and it says she is the winner of the Orange Prize for Fiction. So I'm really excited to read this one. If you have read it, let me know what you think in the comments below. No spoilers because I haven't read it yet, obviously, but um, I hear it is emotional and uh, makes you cry a bunch and sometimes I'm just down for a book like that. So I'm excited to give this a read. And this is another one that I hear a lot about. Um, this is a big book. I can read pretty quick. I finish books in about two to three days. Um, so hopefully I can get my five books read this month. I'm aiming for five a month. We'll, we'll see if I can hit those or if I go over. Um, but These Violent Delights. Yes, yeah, so this is a book that I have heard a ton about. Um, just I don't know enough to tell you exactly what it's about. I know it's um, based in China and it has to do with uh, some gangs and this girl who is coming back to take over some uh, duties that she has. I, that's just the brief little thing that I got in the back. Um, obviously there's a lot more to the book but um, I'm really excited to give this a read. I, again I love the cover. Um, when it comes to hardcover books I seem to always take the um, back off so or the cover off and what I love is the front of this book still has a detail on it. A lot of times you take the cover off and it's just a blank book. Um, but I'm really excited that it has the, the sword and the rose. Um, but I'm freaking stoked about uh, reading this book as well. I just kind of jumped on the bandwagon this first month. Um, well, second month because I read a bunch last month. But um, And got a lot of books that a lot of people were just suggesting. So um, hopefully I like them. I'm still trying to find my perfect uh, niche for my favorite genre. Um, but I'm really excited to give this one a read and uh, see how it goes. And then the next book that I'm gonna read, my fifth book for the month, I am going to be reading this uh, book from the Bridgerton series. I uh, am really excited to dive into this one. I've read all the other ones and I can't wait to get into the next one. Um, I started reading the Bridgerton series in January and I got all the way to, I believe this is book seven, if I'm correct, maybe eight. Um, and let's see. Yeah, I read six books last month. So this is book number seven. Um, and after I finished book number six, I was like, okay, I got to take a break from Bridgerton. As much as I freaking love that whole family and, um, that series, I needed to take a break. And that's why I started The Wife Upstairs. But that's going to be my, uh, fifth book that I read for this month. And, um, yeah, I am really freaking excited. Um, if you're watching this, let me know what your favorite books are, what you're reading for the month. Um, I would love to get more suggestions. If there's any videos that you're curious to see, uh, let me know. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave some comments. Um, and if you have any questions about these books, they will all be linked in the description box. I'll also link the two apps that I use in the description box. And um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. I am so happy to be back and I can't wait to uh, do more of these videos for you guys. So have a great day and I will see you next time.